morning. It's Tuesday morning, March the 7th, 2023. And it's a pleasure to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And this morning we're going to begin Psalm 9. And just consider verse 1. Psalm 9 verse 1 says this, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. And showing forth all of his marvelous works is quite a thing. Whether we're talking about creation, whether we're talking about salvation, whether we're talking about the promises of heaven, the Christian life, whether we're talking about an unburdened heart that comes from forgiveness of sins or whatever it is we're speaking of, the Bible says we ought to praise God and show forth all his marvelous work. We ought, to, we ought to brag on him. We ought to be joyful in the Lord and express gratitude toward him and, and brag about all the wonderful things that he has accomplished, all the great things he has done. This is a wonderful testimony for the saint. And you have to spend some time meditating sometimes to think about what you have to be thankful for. If you're a child of God and you know for sure your sins are forgiven, you know for sure that Christ is your Savior, you have so much for which to be thankful. God has given so many promises about prayer and answered prayer. God has given so many promises about the eternal destiny, the eternal security of every believer in Christ and the blood of Christ who has redeemed, that has redeemed them from their sinfulness and paid the price tag for their sin. We have so much to be thankful for. And this Psalm verse one says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. So many things that God wants us to show others about himself. Are you busy? Are you working at, at focusing on dedicating yourself to showing forth his marvelous works? Are you sort of embarrassed about his marvelous works? Don't be that. Commit yourself to the Lord and to his honor and glory, and he will bless you for it. God bless you today.